In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. We begin our service of the Holy Name with a brief reading from Revelation. Behold, the dwelling of God is with mankind. He will dwell with them, and they shall be his people. And God himself will be with them and, and, and be their God. Suzanne, if you could please lead us in the confession of sin. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed, by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry and we humbly repent. For the sake of your son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us, that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name. Amen. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on you, forgive you all your sins through our Lord Jesus Christ, strengthen you in all goodness, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep you in eternal life. Amen. Lord, open our lips. And our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. To us, a child is born. Come, let us adore him. Hallelujah. Herb, if you could lead us in the uh, venite, please. Come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and raise a loud shout to him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In his hand are the caverns of the earth, and the heights of his hills are his also. The sea is his, for he made it, and his hands have molded the dry land. Come, let us bow down and bend the knee and kneel before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Oh, that today we would hearken to his voice. Bear with me a second, folks. Can you? David, if we could please have the psalm. Psalm number eight. O Lord, our governor, how exalted is your name in all the world. Out of the mouths of infants and children, your majesty is praised above the heavens. You have set up a stronghold against your adversaries to quell the enemy and the avenger. When I consider your heavens, the work of your fingers, the moon and the stars you have set in their courses, what is man that you should be mindful of him, the son of man that you should seek him out? You have made him but little lower than the angels. You adorn him with glory and honor. You give him mastery over the works of your hands, you put all things under his feet, all sheep and oxen, even the wild beasts of the field, the birds of the air, the fish of the sea, and whatsoever walks in the paths of the sea. O oh Lord, our God. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. And have the reading from Numbers, please. Numbers, chapter 6, verses 22 through 27. The Lord spoke to Moses 
saying, speak to Aaron and his sons, saying, thus you shall bless the Israelites. You shall say to them, Lord, bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. So they shall put my name on the Israelites and I will bless them. The word of the Lord. Thank you. Etchen, if you could please lead us in the Song of Mary. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my Savior, for he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day, all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel for he has remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. If we can have the reading, David, from Galatians, please. When the fullness, this is Galatians chapter four. When the fullness of that time had come, God sent his son, born of a woman, born under the law, in order to redeem those who were under the law, so that we might receive adoption as children. And because you are children, God has sent the spirit of his son into our hearts, crying, Abba, Father. So you are no longer a slave, but a child. And if a child, then also an heir through God, the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. A reading from the gospel according to Luke. When the angels had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, let us go now to Bethlehem and see this thing that has taken place, which the Lord has made known to us. So they went with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the child lying in the manger. When they saw this, they made known what had been told them about this child. And all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds told them. But Mary treasured all these words and pondered them in her heart. The shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen as it had been told them. After eight days had passed, it was time to circumcise the child, and he was called Jesus, the name given by the angel before he was conceived in the womb. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. What's in a name that at the name of Jesus, every knee should bow? And given that God names Jesus even before he is born, what does it mean in this morning's Old Testament reading that God's name is given through a blessing spoken to Moses with instructions to Aaron that the blessing of the name of God be bestowed upon all the Israelites? the name of God bestowed upon Israel. In short, whatever God does the naming, there is a new beginning. Hope conceived and come to full term in those who bear the name. 
Remember Isaac, son of Abraham and Sarah? Sarah, who laughed incredulously when she heard that in her old age she would have a child? God gets the last laugh. The promise made to Abraham and Sarah is credible, and his name is Isaac, which means he who laughs. And then there is Jacob, he who supplants, who in the womb grabs his twin Esau by the heel in trying to get born first. Jacob, whose whole life is characterized thusly by trying to take matters into his own hands, getting on by his own lights, until when wrestling with God's angel, he is renamed Israel, such that he who had been Jacob doing it all on his own was then governed and guided by Yahweh into becoming he who strives with God. That's the meaning of the name Israel. O Lord, our governor, how exalted is your name in all the world. The name of God doesn't hang over our world as a threat, but rather undergirds and overarches all that is, establishing the context of our living, guiding our movements, and embracing our very being. The name of God is exalted, looked up to, because God is the one who raises all things up. The name of Jesus is exalted because we are raised up by his incarnate birth. His humanity exclaims our adoption as God's children and gives us voice to call others into his holy family. He was called Jesus, the name given by the angel before he was conceived in Mary, because he would save people from their sins, showing people the way. For people tend to get lost in the darkness of their own pursuits. Just ask Jacob renamed Israel, Simon renamed Peter, and Saul renamed Paul. In this morning's gospel, we are reminded that the angels sang the praises of this child Jesus, and the shepherds echoed that song, making known what had been told them. While Mary treasured all these words and pondered them in her heart. Jesus, name of wondrous love. We sing the name of Jesus this Christmas tide, and today on the Feast of the Holy Name, the name confessed by all Christians, a name and confession that is supposed to unite us. At its best, it is a name that unites us but we also know it's dark underbelly. On this New Year's Day, to raise us up from those shortcomings, we continue to sing the name of Jesus, the songs of Christmas. And in recent years, I came across these alternative verses to a little town of Bethlehem. I can't remember where I got them from. But here they are on this New Year's Day, this holy name of Jesus feast. O oh God, whom neither time nor space can limit, hold, or bind, look down from heaven thy dwelling place with love for humankind. Another year's course has run thy loving care renew forgive the ill that we have done the good we failed to do in doubt or danger all our days be near to guard us still let all our thoughts and all our ways be governed by thy will. Oh, help us on earth to live from selfish passions free. To us at last in mercy give eternal life with thee. Amen. Well, the time for the homily and the beautiful, beautiful hymn.
Herb, if you could please lead us in the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Suzanne, if you could please help with the prayers. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. Alan. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Gretchen, if you could help with the suffrages. Save your people, Lord, and bless your inheritance. Govern and uphold them now and always. Day by day, we bless you. We praise your name forever. Lord, keep us from all sin today. Have mercy on us, Lord. Have mercy. Lord, show us your love and mercy. For we put our trust in you. In you, Lord, is our hope. And we shall never hope in vain. Let us pray. Eternal Father, you gave to your incarnate Son the holy name of Jesus to be the sign of our salvation. Plant in every heart, we pray, the love of him who is the Savior of the world, our Lord Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, in glory everlasting. Amen. We pray for the church throughout the world, for the Anglican Church of Mexico. For Michael, our presiding bishop, for Lawrence, our bishop, for Tom, our vicar, and for the clergy of the Diocese of Long Island. We also pray for the sick and suffering. Heavenly Father, giver of life and health, comfort and relieve your sick servants, especially Lucy Cardamone, Rosie Connor, Mark Gaeta, Miriam Checo, Helen Walsh, Richard C. Elmatch, Betsy Palmetto, Mary Fries. Michael DeSola, Marianne Polsini, Polsolini, Lili, and Allison Mize. Are there others? Allison Welch. Uh, Anna Kerrgood, April Valentine. Lord, we ask that you give your power of healing to those that minister to their needs, that they may be strengthened in their weakness and have confidence in your loving care. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Pray also today for the departed, O God, who by the glorious resurrection of your Son Jesus Christ destroyed death and brought life and death and life and immortality to light. Grant that your servants, those who have died in the blizzard last week, Pope Benedict, Benedict the 16th. Are there others? Noel Roloff, Kathy Kerr. Being raised with him may know the strength of his presence and rejoice in his eternal glory, who with you and the Holy Spirit lives and reigns one God forever and ever. Amen. We also pray in thanksgiving for the birthdays of Dan Kerr yesterday and Nancy Clark on the second, and for the big chicken, Charlie and Carolyn, celebrating 48 years of marriage uh, on um, December 27th. And the birth of Greg Alexander. Thank you. Other others? Other uh, things we're thankful for. Thankful to begin the new year praying with all of you here at All Souls. We also offer a prayer for a safe travel. Lord, we know that you watch our coming and our going. Today, we pray for you to watch over Tom and Earl as they travel to Taiwan. Keep them safe in your loving arms. 
let no harm come upon them during their trip. Help them to get to their destination and get home safely. Help them to experience your love during the trip so that they may draw even closer to you. Amen. Susan, if you could lead us in the prayer of St. Christendom. Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplication to you. And you have promised through your well-beloved son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth and in the age to come life everlasting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to God from generation to generation in the church and in Christ Jesus forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Amen.